We told you about it. We promised we'd do it. So here we are, Taylor T5Z, some sassy guitars. Check it out. watching Alamo Music TV. My name is Chris McKee. And I'm Cooper Greenberg. We're here with Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. If you're new to our channel, make sure to click the subscribe button, turn on your notifications, hit the like button and comment below so we can hear from you. If you'd like to support the channel, make sure to visit our Teespring store linked below for custom designed t-shirts. And feel free to buy a guitar from our website. We like that too. So today is a follow-up actually to a previous video we did. And we would have included these in the same video if We'd had them, yep. but we didn't. So here they are. These are the T5Z Classics in Sassy Sassafras. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So if you aren't familiar with Sassafras, you obviously are new to our channel, which means you should click the subscribe button. But if you've been here for a bit, you know that Taylor has done some black-hearted Tasmanian Sassafras guitars before. I think that's it. Or maybe it's Tasmanian black-hearted Sassafras. Anyway, it's really, really cool wood. Um, in fact, they've done some custom T5Zs before, uh, limited editions and things, and they're really expensive for this exotic wood. So, Cooper, where does Tasmanian black-hearted sassafras come from? Tasmania. That would be incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> they do, in fact, come from Tasmania. Not the guitars, but the wood. Um, and the reason it's called black-hearted is Sassafras on its own is actually a pretty pale wood. It, it kind of looks like white Karina. You know, just not much going on there. Uh, but some of the trees, and if, if my understanding is correct, it's the oldest trees get uh, this fungus that grows and it stains the wood and you get these beautiful like pinks and purples and blacks and just these wonderful hues that are going on in the wood that create this vibrant figuring. So it's a great looking tone wood. It's a great sounding tone wood. On acoustic guitars, it's got this wonderful kind of low mid, different kind of frequency than anything else. And I really like it a lot. And I've liked it on the tops of T5s. It compresses just enough, you know, kind of like mahogany or koa wood. It gives you some nice kind of treble high ends. And it, and it just looks really, really good. So we talked about these when we did the koa version of this video. Um, and that was kind of the same thing. Taylor's done T5s with Koa. They're usually very expensive, over $3,000, but these are classic versions with these exotic tone woods as tops, which is really awesome. They also come with hard shell cases and for you know just around the $2,000 mark. So you're saving hundreds upon hundreds of dollars by going with these and getting something that's very, very special very cool looking without having to go, you know, kind of the mahogany classic route, which are great guitars, yeah. but come on, these look better, you're right? Yeah, they're special and they, uh, in terms of hybrid guitars, I mean, you're kind of looking at the the best of the best, you know, the T5Zs, you know, classic and pro all over the place, but T5 being kind of the premier hybrid guitar. Um, yeah, I think, you know, it, it changed the game. The, the other players that I would say are up there are Godan stuff, like with the multi axe and, and, and whatnot. And then, of course, you have the Acoustasonic Stratocasters and Telecasters. And they all kind of come at it from a different angle. But I think Taylor's introduction of this over 10 years ago, maybe even 15 years ago, I think was the first T5, um, you know, really kind of changed the game and made an electric guitar that had really compelling electric sounds and a wonderful acoustic voice as well. And they feel great. Yeah. Have you ever realized that these are 11s? Yeah, you know, it's funny. I was uh, watching one of our previous videos that I was putting up uh, a couple days ago and you mentioned that these are 11s. So when we start playing these today, I was trying to be kind of more mindful of that and they feel they so don't much feel more like comfortable. <laughs> yeah, they don't feel like 11s. Uh, the bending ability on these is really insane. But also with the 11s, you just get such a thickness of tone that the pickup configuration here really handles well and it just very big, very big sound. Yeah. So 
basically the bottom line in these is that they're just like those co ones. If you haven't seen that video, by the way, you should click that link above our heads. And I think there's a few left in stock, but we got a bunch and they're almost all gone. So a lot of you already saw that video um, and took advantage of it. So if you're a Koa fan, definitely check that out. This is more of the same. Wonderful edge burst treatment to these beautifully figured black-hearted Tasmanian, Tasmanian black-hearted sets of brass guitars. Um, and they're, every single one of these is different. So, um, but, it's got the tried and true T5 sound. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put through its paces. If you're not familiar with what a T5 sounds like, you're gonna hear it now. Uh, both the acoustic, which you get from uh, setting one, two is gonna be your neck pickup, kind of a stratty sound. Three is gonna be your bridge pickup, nice lead tone. Four is both in parallel. It's gonna give you kind of a, I always think of it like a Gretsch hollow body sound. Yeah. And uh, then uh, five is both in series. Uh, which is a wonderful lead tone, kind of ES-335-esque sound to it. Um, so all in all, really great guitars. Let's do it. <laughs> So there you have it, Taylor T5Z Classic Sassafras. These are limited edition guitars. They are available for a short period of time while supplies last. Um, I don't know exactly how many we got. We tried to get a bunch, but I knew there weren't that many to begin with. And every single one of them is different. So if you'd like more information about these guitars, you can go to our website, alamomusic.com, and we have live chat there 
where you can chat live with one of our associates. And since all of these are different, you can ask them for photos of what we currently have in stock. They'll be able to take a look at what is currently available and let you know and kind of pick from there as it's as you can. So uh, at some point there won't be any available and this video will just kind of be hanging out here on YouTube. So, but what do you think? Um, I really like the look of Sassafras. I, I love Koa obviously, but we had, I think it was 814 Limited not too long ago that was Sassafras that I really loved the back and sides. It was just naturally finished, no anything. But um, this, I think that shaded edge burst works really well, especially on that grain. I love this one too, but that's the one that this was- This one is really, yeah, really nice looking. Pull that out Just why we today. picked it for the video. Yeah, no, it's, it's gorgeous <laughs> wood and uh, you know, as all the T5s do, it sounds really nice, but. Yeah, I, you know, I, I probably won't be able to get one of these and I'll probably regret it. Every T5, or every Sassafras guitar we've had uh, has been to me kind of like the one that got away. Yeah. We've had 714s and 914s and 814s and it's always like, that's such a beautiful tone wood. Yeah, no, so. they're great looking. Anyway, so like I said, go to our website if you'd like more information about these. And if you're new to our channel, we do guitar reviews and demos and talk about all things guitar. And we shoot you straight and tell you what we think. So if you'd like more of that, make sure that you click on the subscribe button, click the bell to turn on notifications, and click the thumbs up to like our video and tell us we're doing a good job. We'd also like to hear from you in the comments below. Do you have a T5Z? How do you love it? Do you want one of these? Do you prefer the Koa? We love to hear all opinions. We'll reply to as many of them as we can, and we'll laugh at the snarky ones. Um, and as always, the best guitar in the world, whether it's T5 or not, is... The one that you're making sassafras music on. Black-hearted Tasmanian music. That's right. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Once again, you guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you want to learn more about the guitar, check out Alamo Music. Oh, Pat. Hey, everybody. I love guitar videos just like you do. But guess what? Alamo Music Center has another YouTube channel. You can check out all the piano and keyboard reviews that we have and see more of me. Cooper, do we have another one of those? He's fine. Mm -hmm.